What is that? Subscribers? Subscribers? We've got to get subscribers. Cook Joe. It's a cook. We'll, it's put a poll, we'll put a poll up on the video. 12 bucks, please, Joe. It was going up, hadn't they? 10 bucks, 99, 12 bucks. What is that, eh? Where? Cook Joe. It looks like that! Hey, Joe. What's up?
Hey, I'm back from the beautiful Gold Coast and managed to finish the Gold Coast Half Marathon. Such an incredible week with the squad and all the IMF family as well as the staff and was one of my highlight workshops so far during this IMP workshop. Firstly, we started off the week with our education workshop. So that was from Wednesday through to Thursday doing a bit about public speaking as well as um, first aid. So it was good to freshen up those skills. On the Friday, we managed to head over to the Gold Coast Marathon Expo and was kind of blown away at how many people were lining up to receive their bibs. I think us mob were very lucky that we had our bibs picked up on our own behalf and were awarded those uh, on the Friday night before the race. I found it pretty crazy to see how many different running pieces you could buy from there all the different gels, the chews to try, the hydration you can use, running belts, you name it, everything was in that one place. Overall, I think there were over a hundred different stalls in that. I myself managed to pick up some really nice Gold Coast Marathon training shirts. One was a long sleeve too, so that's gonna really help out in the winter. And also decided to purchase some Morton Energy Gels to try in my next block of training. To race day, I think, it was a bit overwhelming to see how many people were in that one spot too. You know, having all the port loose with all these lines and just, it was such a buzz and an atmosphere and beat pumping at like 5.30 in the morning. It was quite a sight to see too. I got up at quarter to four and all of us mob headed over to the race precinct not too long after, leaving us with about just under an hour to go before starting the race at quarter past six. And my goodness, that hour flew by. The biggest lesson I learned from this one was how much you need to respect the other racers or the other runners out there because I found it very hard to, to find my pace uh, in the initial stages of the race too and got quite impatient with trying to zigzag through everyone and felt like I used up a bit a bit of energy uh, doing that throughout the race as well. So definitely something to factor in when I go out for my next run uh, in an event. Pretty surreal though to have 9,000 other runners around me and just hearing footsteps throughout it all. It was like a weird, just calming sound that got me through the entire 21.1 kilometers, choosing not to wear my headphones during the race as well. I think going into the race, I really just wanted to soak up the atmosphere as well as the, the workshop with the squad members. Overall, I just wanted to get out of my shell a bit more and to really show that the real Jackie legs that um, the mob love to see too. So I'm glad that I did. And overall, I had a really enjoyable week as a result. Looking back now on the race, overall, I, I was, overwhelmed with how well I performed in it too. I'd always been seeing uh, the mob clocking up faster and faster Ks and not really seeing the same results uh, on my own end too, but managing to hold a really comfortable five minute kilometer pace throughout the entire race and finishing with a time of one hour 46 and 30 seconds. So well under the one hour 50 mark, which overall I set as like a little goal, but really wasn't fussed at like what time I was gonna run to. So that was just a bonus as well. I think the highlights again were the atmosphere, but also a really big highlight was the IMF family that is around Australia too, and just not realizing how impactful being a part of a program is as well too. I think I drew a lot of inspiration too from the other squad members, inspiring their own families too. and. We had 10 of the squad members start the race and 10 finish too and just wanted to give a big shout out to Sissy. Uh, I know I threw in that clip at the start of this video too but just wanted to thank you again sis for all of your support uh, during that week too. I know it would have been hard doing your deep water runs in quite cool weather up in Goldie but um, yeah you just you were a gem to, to walk the squad too and it was just such a an amazing sight to see at the finishing line uh, to give you a hug as well once we had all finished as well so really just wanted to shout out to you. Another shout out to Tash who unfortunately wasn't able to make the trip to Goldie so really just wishing you all the best with your training sis and hopefully uh, we'll be able to see you very soon uh, in Alice Springs as well so really holding out feel free to reach out to if you need any support during your training and you're just doing incredible at the moment as well. To finish off race day, we had a race debrief. So all of us got to yarn through how we felt our races went, and it was just great to hear the different perspectives and the lessons that each of the squad members learned too. And we were very blessed to also have the IMP grads there for the afternoon to, to share their own stories about going through the program. And I think it really hit me after this camp at how quickly programs like this go too. So it's just realizing that, you know, you need to make the most of that short time that you have with these 11 other deadly people really making changes in their own community and, and throughout the, 
the, the country. We finish off the weekend getting up early again on at four o'clock on Sunday to cheer on some of the IMF family and former IMP grads uh, through their own marathons too, which was quite a sight to see. And I think it really gave me that motivation to dig deep in this next block and to just remain consistent with the training too. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge coming forward into this next block, but just willing to give it a go. I think that'll wrap it up for the day. I'll leave a little split countdown of like what my half marathon looks like. And yeah, overall, I'm just really keen to get into the next block. Thank you Mob again for all your support and thank you to all the IMP squad, IMP staff, and just the end, all the IMF family for your support this weekend. It's really just, it's been amazing and I, I'm honestly just speechless at how much support there is uh, through this this family that's been created too. So wishing you IMP squad mob all the best with block three. Feel free to hit me up if you ever just have any questions or just, just want to yarn or shoot the breeze or if you need a phone call when you're going out for your long runs, I'm here, uh, hit me up. And uh, yeah, thank you to all you mob tuning in to, to check out this, this Gold Coast recap update. I'll catch you mob in the next one as we start block three.